to uh, start trying to build it, I think. I feel like we can only know if we've done it wrong if we build it. <laughs> and it's wrong. And it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, we just walked up that little hill. I'm really out of breath. And this is... This is the bit of barn that we think we might use. The other day we put up some hangboards and stuff. But we think we might use this damp bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to measure this space. And like it's got this sort of, no, it's sort of got this funny like. It's because a horse used to live in here ah. ages ago. So okay. back down at the house now after checking out the board. Lots of in-depth discussions and really technical technical drawings have been made. So we'll basically just build a square, which will be the board or a big oblong. And then that will be supported by the two posts at the front. And then we'll put one long bar at the bottom to fix that too. And hopefully that'll be strong enough and we won't die and stuff. Basically, we can't actually go anywhere to get anything. Right, so I'm going to order it for Click and Collect from B&Q. Uh, I was trying to order some plywood, so I'm, I'm guessing that's not an essential item. Yeah, that probably that's not probably not going to come under the um, essential criteria. No worries. Thanks. Have a lovely bye day. Bye. Cheers. Bye Thank now. Thank you. Bye bye. Basically, it's impossible to get any wood at the minute, mm. so I had to buy some off eBay, and it took ages to arrive. But uh, so it's really hard to get any wood. So we're basically just using stuff that, that, that's lying around. But anyway, we've got to clear this log pile and like take off some of these sideboards and stuff so we can start building. You know, getting ready, things ready to build tomorrow. Oh, oh I feel like it's all over me. <laughs> so big. So Tom has quite a, quite a present fear of spiders. And this one <laughs> has gone over my threshold. Oh, it's horrid. That's huge. Oh, that is actually huge. <gasps> oh, it's like being back in Australia. Don't make it move then. <laughs> oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> Don't panic. Hagrid, is that you? Don't. It's so big. so big. Every time you look round, it just gets bigger. Oh my god. Where? Look down in that little corner there. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. Oh! Oh, no! Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah, you're scared of heights, but not of spiders, so yeah. good job. So today's video is sponsored by Skillshare and for those of you who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning platform where literally millions of people come together to take the next step in their creative journeys. So the first time I went on Skillshare I was actually blown away by the number of different classes and different topics. So from illustration, design, photography, filmmaking, editing, all the way through to kind of business, finance and personal development, interior design, literally anything I could think of they had classes for it. The second thing that got me really excited was actually how enjoyable it was. I straight away went on there and got hooked in with a course from Aaron Draplin about merch design, ended up binging a whole hour and 15 minutes of really useful, interesting information about the whole process of basically starting your own merch business. Hello friends, Aaron James Draplin here, Portland, Oregon in my backyard. This is Skillshare number six and we're getting into merch. So Skillshare is super affordable with an annual membership coming in under $10 a month. Now the interesting bit, so the first thousand people to click the link in the description will get two months free premium membership to Skillshare. So if you've run into a bunch of free time like I have, now is your perfect opportunity to get creative, learn something new, work on that passion project. All right, on with the episode. <laughs> so yeah, basically we need to need to take those off so we can put putting in some little extra verticals here which are going to support the bottom of the, of the wall. Exactly, <laughs> this is where I lived before. You don't get, you don't get fucking 5G in here, mate. You don't get 5G in there. 
so today is the day um, we're gonna try and build as much as the board as possible first mission is to try and get the plywood up to the barn So I'm now cutting my four vertical pieces at the bottom with a 45 degree angle so I can screw them into a little horizontal base platey bit and then at the top they're going to rest on this bar that we spent ages getting in. And, and then, then you've got to get your noggins in. And then we'll chuck the noggins in and away you go. This is why I'm not a carpenter. Come on. Ooh. Yummy. So this angle is going to be like this one. So they all go boop, boop, boop. And up there. There, like that, just like that. Oh, I, actually, oh, I, actually, I actually wouldn't have done it like that. That's what you yeah. say. Okay, we cut three out of our four. Yeah. Um, but but really, the crux of the issue is that. So we're kind of building into a pre-existing frame where we don't know if things are straight or not. So we need to make sure that what that the board that we make is a square. <laughs> so we're putting in these ones across here, which need to be. This needs to be parallel with the top of the board, up there. Measure the distance between their two corners. So along here and here. Mm -hmm. And then and then we measure <laughs> then we measure this angle and this angle. And as long as this, this, that and that are the same, we should have we should have enough square. we should have enough of a square that we can then kind of bend the plywood onto the frame that's it took us a, it took us quite a long time to realize that if we just cut <laughs> these bottom bits at an exact 45 degree angle or, and put that against a vertical here then that makes the whole thing 45 degrees gcse maths there you go Those are just temporary just to hold it i don't know i don't know, no, no, just bash stuff, screw bash stuff, stuff no. screw stuff Hopefully you'll end up with something that's a climbing wall. Bashman. I'm Bash. Bashman is actually my grime name. <laughs> Bashman. Stormzy featuring Bas Bashman. Yeah. <laughs> Bashman's on the block. <laughs> Can somebody who fancies it make Tom's first album cover for his grime single? Man's coming in with the hammer. Man's gonna bash you in the face. Man's coming in with a hammer. Man's gonna bash you in the face. Bash, 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 bash. Man's coming in with the hammer. Man's gonna bash you in the face. Man's coming in with a hammer. Man's gonna bash you in the face. Man's coming in with a hammer. Yeah, we should have probably made sure that was level before measuring all the corners. No, we're playing. This is like 5D chess right now. Which side was which? 
412. This diagonal was shorter, okay. so that would account for this being lower. lower. Yeah. I'm going to go as far as say perfect ish on that one. Okay, and then, so if I hold it, and you're going to whack a screw in. the final piece to go at the top so it's a very important stage from that down there there you go lovely job you Mitchell so the bit we just cut is going to be the last bit across here and it's going to leave just like a bit of a gap so that if we wanted to we could like put a jug right at the top or something or like wrap your hand around the top. <sighs> Tilda's got the right idea, haven't you Tilda? Alright, so we've got these and these are going to fix the top of the vertical bits of wood. <laughs> Right, we need to just get the last piece on now. Then we're done, Zoe. Lunch. We feast on the glory of climbing. Was just making some footholds, finishing off the last one, and he just cut a bit of his finger off. Did a full, full Tommy Cardwell. Where are you looking at? Just saying that you did a Tommy Cardwell. Didn't I? Making the last bloody foothold, I managed to. He managed to chop a bloody great hole in the top of my finger. So. We've made a board, we've made the holes, but I can't go climbing! We found a carpet! Hey! <laughs> On my days off, I like to clean my carpet! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tom broke a mug though. <laughs> with a hammer. Yeah, I accidentally smashed a mug with a hammer. <laughs> you know how it goes. So, what are we doing now? Um, we I are. Need to tighten that. We are. Um, so these are the footholds that Tom's made. I just whipped those up. Yeah, we have no idea whether these are going to be like good or bad or usable. I think some of them might explode as well. Yeah, this is like pretty good. That's a handhold. Oh. <laughs> um, so Tom's been drilling holes in, and I've been 
doing whatever countersinking, countersinking yeah. <laughs> and he's going to put the first hold on yeah which I, it's like slightly terrifying and I'm on it yeah like a side like a side pinch I like just put it on yeah 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 go there we go and I'll set a route of pinches around that pinch yeah how's that feeling oh. Nice. Uh, God, I don't do mornings. I'm not a morning person. My, my finger has finally healed. We spent about a week and a half making holes. Yeah, and now I think it's time to have the final tour, I suppose. So come in. Oh, you ready for this, guys? Hilda is. Full of sight. Welcome to my crib. Ah, oh, boards are still up. Yeah, okay. The, 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 the big painful one is still there. But various pulleys and bands and stuff for doing assisted pull ups. Got my weight here. Lovely. Really high tech stuff. Is this like the cribs? Your cribs? This is this is my crib, yeah. you know? Um, crib tours. You know, the car the carpet is uh the carpet's down. Yeah. Tom just brushed it off for you. Guys. I did I sweeped it just for you. I'll show you kind of the hangboard configuration at the moment. Very nice. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to find a way to put those guys up as well. We have the board, which is now, you know, it's getting to a place of hold density where it's mm. starting to get really good, you know. <laughs> Most recent edition of these two big um, volumes made by our friends at Aret Climbing. Um, and also Silly Goat sent us some holds the other day. Yeah. And some, some little holds also sent from someone who used to climb with at Arch North. So mm. lots of people sending holds, which is amazing. Viewing area? Mm -hmm. Send it! If I had friends, that would have hit a friend. But <laughs> Isolation, what are you going to do? So yeah, that was our little board making home climbing wall video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to hit subscribe. I know lots of you aren't subscribed yet. I also want to give a shout out to our sponsor, Skillshare. And if you have any questions about the board, I want you to drop them in the comments and I'll answer them in a future video. All right, cheers. Bye.